Guys, okay, so I'm going to show y'all how to pickle today. I'm going to attempt to, anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to make dill pickles, and then I'm going to make dill pickle relish, which is going to be a first try for me. And then I'm also going to attempt, put this attempt, to make hot dog relish, which is something my husband and I both love, and we can't always find it at the grocery store. So I'm going to try to make it. In theory, I will say all it is is dill relish mixed with mustard. We're going to try to make a couple of jars and see how they turn out. But behind me, we're going to go ahead and make our brine while we get everything else ready. So, I'm going to show you how to make it first. Okay, so in the blue pot here is where we're going to have our brine. Um, right now, I just got uh, two quarts of water in there. I went ahead and did that before I started the camera. Or also, this is what we're going to put in our brine. Can you see that? Can you read my handwriting? Two quarts of water, one quart. 5% white vinegar, half a cup of pickling salt, and anywhere from a third to a half a cup of sugar. So that's what we're going to put in. I'm going to put in a third cup of sugar. Um, but I got this recipe off YouTube. Um, off, uh, I think it's Yankee Prepper. I think it's the name of the channel. I'll have to look it up. But one quart. And I got a two cup, two cup measuring cup because my quart measuring cup is dirty. So... Because I got a lot of peppers, if y'all been paying attention to my garden videos, got a lot of peppers, and um, we can we can always use that. So, uh, half a cup of pickling salt. We got pickling salt. When I first attempted to make the um, make dill pickles or make pickles of any sort, this is a, this is only gonna be my second time making dill pickles. Um, uh, but my husband was like, oh, Leslie, it takes a lot of salt. You might as well get two boxes. Two boxes? These are four pound boxes. This is still the first one. And it's only to here. From here to there. That's how far I can use it. Okay. So, but um, a half a cup. So we've got our fourth cup here. There we go. There's a fourth. It's not supposed to be this difficult. And there's another fourth, which makes a half. Okay. So, set that ingredient to the side. All right. Next one. Oh, we're going to do a third cup of sugar. So. Only five of sugar, so I'm going to take this one bag. And a third cup of sugar. Perfect. So now we got that going. Let me get a wooden spoon. I'll mess up my Rachel Ray stuff. I'm very peculiar about it. We're going to put this on just a uh, medium. Just to let it get warmed up and everything. Get everything dissolved. And we'll be good to go. There. Just a trick. I've got a spoon rest. Boom. What I have here, by the way, is just a giant pot of water. It's probably filled up to about right here. And it's what we're gonna do, we're gonna use to help seal our jars with. Okay, okay guys, so we're about to start slicing these pickles. I have a ton. I had two gallon bags full of pickles, in, or full of cucumbers in the refrigerator. Some are big, some are small, but that's okay. And then, if you dig down, some are ginormous. We may or may not be able to use that one. We won't know until I cut him though. So what I do is I got a mandolin. Because uh, I'm just going to do rounds. And I'm going to slice them up. And you can use any bowl. I got a colander here, but that's fine. I'm um, going to use my mandolin. 
probably gonna have him set on uh mm, maybe maybe one uh, I'll just have to test it and see the thinness it really is it just depends on your personal preference um, but I'm gonna slice them up first and then I'll take a few out and um, chop them up for the for the relish ones uh, but we're gonna slice them all and the rounds first to begin with so set the camera over here because this is probably one of the the more time-consuming parts where you can really get in on this on this action because I know it's real exciting zoom in here and I'm hoping this colander works it may not I may have to swap bowls but all the cucumbers have already been pre-washed I'm not worried about that let's see here and we're not going to keep the tips so I left one bag out throw it away throw it away now alright so I can just hold it. Ready? And these, this is set on, this is set on two. What about that then? So, I'll bat it off. Oh. Oh. Sure as heck, makes it cut them by hand. And when you start seeing them get pretty, uh, pretty short, use the guard. I cut myself way too much. And there's no sense in it. And it'll give you it'll get you all the way to where you're where you're headed. So, uh, so I'm gonna cut them all just like that, okay? Uh, I'll save y'all the pain of watching me cut every single one of this. I'll come back when they're done. Okay, so after about ten minutes of slicing and dicing, I got I had to get another bowl. This thing, I don't know how big this bowl is, but it's full of pickles sliced in um, hamburger rounds. And then I was like, you know what? I really like stackers for sandwiches and stuff. So, um, I did some stackers too. Anyway, I've already taken out um, some of the pickle rounds for that we're going to dice up for the relish. Because I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut and ready before we start jarring everything. Um... So, in order to do that, so I have four cup or half a pint jars uh, for my relishes. So, taking that into consideration, I'm going to use four cups or two pints or a quart towards the pickles. I'm just going to dice them in this bowl. So, I'll show you the first round of dicing. Granted, I've never done this before, so bear with me. Still got some chunks in there, so we'll keep it back in a little mound. And... Yeah. So, just got to kind of lift up a little. And there's going to be some big chunks, and there's going to be small chunks. But it's going to be a relish, so... Let's remove if we don't put as many. And I have a slab topper that is apparently broke. It's not wanting to turn. Um, if not, if you got maybe like a food processor or something. Because mine's leaving these big chunks. So... Going back behind it here. This is, this is going to be the messy part of the process. I can, I can already tell. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a whole quart for it. So this is a half a quart, and then I will, I'll do these and another one. And I'll come right back at you. Okay, so I've got the stackers, the rails, and I got the relish. I ended up, my slap top, I think it's broken. I ended up cutting all those chuggers by hand. But now we're moving on to the fun part. Starting to get, starting to be real. 
All right, so um, this is what we're going to use for our quart jars, the big ones. And then for the smaller ones, we're just going to cut it in half. So we're going to use three to four garlic cloves, one bay leaf, a quarter teaspoon mustard seed, one teaspoon of dill weed, one teaspoon of dill seed, and a quarter teaspoon of the pickle crisp. So you don't have to use the pickle crisp if you don't want to. I use it where my pickles stay crispy and don't get mushy. It gets rid of it um, stops that enzyme from breaking them down on um, the pickles or, or the um, cucumbers have on their skin. But um, people have also said, oh, it's calcium chloride, which is also pool shock. Oh well, I've drank pool water before on accident. I'm still here, so it ain't hurt me yet. Okay, everything in moderation though. Don't drink too much pool water. So we're gonna go ahead and put all this in here. And on the first batch I made, I used whole cloves, but we're gonna try something different and I'm gonna use um, already minced cloves. So, and I'm not gonna mince myself because I don't feel like it. So. According to this thing here, let's see, they usually have a, uh, something on the bottle that says this, oh, here we go, a half a teaspoon equals one clove. So, if we're doing four cloves, then we're going to do two teaspoons. Easy peasy. peasy. So, let's, let's start. So. And like I said, as even for my mustard relish, or hot dog relish ones, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, okay. So one. Two. All right, so we're going to cut them in half here. from the guy I got from said he makes his kosher and he puts a bay leaf in it. What does that do? I don't know. But we will do it again. Why do bay leaves have a sprinkle thing on them? I'm gonna sprinkle this. No. You gotta reach in. I can actually reach in and grab one of these little gophers. We're just gonna do a half a bay leaf. Okay. Add more than one of them. Okay. But mustard seed. Here we go. I'm using yellow mustard seed. You can use whatever mustard seed you like. But I've always known mustard to be yellow. So, so quarter. Right? Yep. Yeah. One. So this is where we're going to eyeball it. Yeah. Half. Uh, I don't know what that we're going to actually do mustard relish, we'll do a whole. I need to mark these two somehow so that I know that they are going to be the uh, hot dog relish ones. So being a nurse, I always have medical tape right at home because it gets stuck in my pockets or whatnot. That'll tell me. All right, what's next on the list? Teaspoon dill weed. Okay, so the first time I had fresh dill, I went out and bought some and put sprigs in there. I don't have any. So what we're gonna do instead is use dill, I got some dried dill weed and I also got some dill seed. And I'm just gonna use a, two, um, a teaspoon of each. Because you can't have a dill pickle without dill. Okay, what did I say? One teaspoon. <laughs> teaspoon being sturdy with the garlic. So we'll, we'll just double up on this half teaspoon. So one, two, maybe. Come on. Thank the heavens, I had just enough of that dill weed. Alright. Okay. Just enough. Alright, dill seed. Ooh, 
We'll just do, we'll, we'll change it. We'll go a half a teaspoon of dill, dill seed. Because it does seem, little, it looks like a lot. Oh, I'm going to do it. I mean, I like dill, don't get me wrong. So we'll do a half, or a quarter, that is. And do some smaller ones. Okay. And then one fourth teaspoon. Uh, this is for a quart, so don't worry, it does dissolve so you don't see white chunks just floating around in your in your head. I'm an idiot. I'm a straight up an idiot. That's what Leslie is. These are for quart jars. You know what kind of jars these are? Half quart. So, what's in these should be what's in those. But Too late now. Too late now. It's just going to be a little stronger. Which will be okay. Um, the turmeric. I'm going to put some turmeric in my hot um, relish one. Um, like I said, so this one is, I'm kind of making it up, so, but you gotta get it yellow, right? So let's do, I'm gonna do an eight teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric is, is good for you. I'm, I'm not exactly sure why, but it is. Now I got the mustard seed in there, but to help it out. Big rocks. We're gonna put in some um, some ground mustard as well. So we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon. All right. Now here's the fun part. I I didn't use celery, so I don't have it. Now we're going to start putting stuff in there, okay? We're going to hold off on the relish part, but as far as these other ones, I'm going to start stacking them in there. And you want to stack as many as you can in here. So. Do I think I can get all these in these jars? Absolutely not. Now that I've actually cut them up, not going to happen. Okay, so now that I've moved everything over here by the stove, we are ready to um, put our brine in the jars. And if you were here now, you smell a lot of vinegar, because that's what it smells like, a lot of vinegar. We're probably going to make a mess here. I'm probably going to spill some of it. But I got my little funnel. It's right down the side. got my ladle. I'm just going to ladle it over. You may be like, let's see, how's this pickle? Because remember, we put that pickling salt in here. So there's salt in here. So it will, so you may not see me any other salt. But pickling salt is going to, is really going to do the trick. And you don't want to use just regular table salt or anything because you spend iodine, iodized, or whatever it's called, and it will turn your pickles brown. So you don't want to use that. And these kind of pickles are not the kind that you can just make and eat like I did my, um, I've done some bread and butter pickles. You see, I could, I could eat those right away. These is going to be, oh, uh, you got to wait. Um, a good bit. You got to wait like a few, like six weeks. 
Um, I say eight weeks just to be safe. So I got some and I'll show them to you when we get done. That I'll get to open here in about two more weeks or so. Two or three weeks. August August the eleventh. Mm. Counting it down. Okay. So everything looks full. Now we're gonna want to put our Now we're going to put our lids on here. These jars are warm. Not too bad. They'll be a lot warmer when I get them out of that water bath. Okay, so I got my magnetic stick, or you can use some tongs, either or. And you're going to put these lids on. Alright, so they're all on there. Turn that off as well. Now we're going to put the rings on. Alright, so cute. these two here are the hot dog relish. So they got the mustard on top. I'm going to leave them a good shake. They turn yellow. Yay! So now, we're going to look this way. There go. We'll put all those jars, or we're going to attempt to, put them in this pot. Of water. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, so usually, lately when I've been doing this, I've been, you know, every fail, drop it, splash, and boil the water on myself. I'm gonna try to be a lot more careful with it right now. Catching on my glove. Okay. If I have to do these in batches, it won't be the end of the world. Then I may have to add some more water to it, which is okay. Hot water's starting to. Gosh, cuckoo. Shit, cuckoo. So I do my best not to curse. Instead of just saying, right now. Neighbor is outside cutting the yard. We got a little bit of our coffee. Alright, so we're just going to try to use these things. Okay, we'll put the lid back on. Um, it looks to be like they have probably maybe an inch worth over the lid of the tall jars. So um, it should be good. And um, But if you boil them too long, you just need to keep an eye on them because that water will evaporate and it won't be over the lid of the jar. And you want to be over the top. So um, there you go. You can see down there. They're doing their thing. That water's gonna come back to a bowl. You can kind of, I don't know if you can, I can hear it kind of boil in the jar or move around a little bit. Um, so, like I said, so 10 minutes and then we will come back and check on them. Okay, guys, it's been 10 minutes. So now we're gonna get these guys out of here. Ooh. And then we'll see what they look like. Let me put this glove back on. This is gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. Okay. So that's that. All right. So now we have our relishes and our pickles. And that's that. It looks delicious. And now the hard part, we get to wait eight weeks before we get to eat them. Or even try them. So. But we did a good job. So real quick, this glove is in. And I will show you 
what our what the finished product. So that's what that looks like. And then put the light on in this room. Beautiful. I made a while back, and I did. So there's a court door. And see, you got the deal. And I actually used the deal weed in there, like actual fresh deal weed. So I did spears. Um, rounds. And if I can reach them, I've given a couple of jars away. Oh. I also did the stackers. So see, I used whole cloves there. Um, I like just fresh weed, dill weed. Um, and these I had cut my hand. That's why they are so thick. But like I said, um, they're sealed up. So no bump. And that's what we're going to wait on these other ones. Um, you see they're kind of a little bolty. So this is the part where we wait. And so they're, why, as they cool off and everything, they will seal themselves. And uh, because right now it would be real easy to unscrew those tops um, and pop the lids off. So now we wait. So um, as the light goes on, I'll hear pop, 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 and it'll be done. So that's how we made uh, dill pickles and dill relish and possibly hot dog relish. Um, I'll have to give an update, you know, after a few weeks and let you know how that turned out. But thanks for following. Please like and comment. Bye.